Hello and welcome to today's makeover. We're going to show you how to completely transform this dresser. We got this dresser from a customer of ours. I think she bought it on Facebook Marketplace for us to refinish. But man, let me tell you, it is in rough shape. It kind of looks like a rainbow exploded on the top of it. Did I also mention it is very ugly? Here you can see that this piece has, uh, the top is loose on it and there are a lot of different ways that we can repair this but because this piece has been painted several times and we're going to paint it again, uh, I'm going to go with the easiest route and we're going to shove some Tight Bond 2 glue up in here and we're going to drill some holes in the top of it and screw it down straight from the top. What you're going to see coming up right here after we've drilled the holes in, I'm actually going to use a bigger drill bit than the head of the screw and countersink this. This allows us to drill the screw all the way down in and we're going to come back and fill the top of it with wood putty in just a second. And here you'll see that I am using, well it's not really wood putty, but it is a Bondo glaze and spot putty and it is perfect for something like this. As we start all of our makeovers, we are cleaning here with a 50-50 mix of denatured alcohol and water. We're using our Surf Prep sander with a maroon pad on it to clean it all off. And then we will come back at the end and we will wipe all of the crud and anything that it has pulled up off of the piece to get it nice and clean. Right here is where this project is going to differ a lot from other uh, projects. We started sanding here and when there's something like this, we're going to do a lot more sanding than normal. Now, the original plan here was to probably take this down and just make it all nice and smooth and make sure that the first layer of paint is going to be adhering. But as we got to removing the paint, there were just a lot of dings and nicks in this piece that required us to remove all of the finish off to try to get it nice and as smooth as possible. And speaking of getting it as smooth as possible, here we are again using the Bondo Glaze and Spot Putty and basically we are using it as a grain filler this time and I'm going to smooth all this out in uh, both directions to push this product all the way down into the grain so we can try to come up with as smooth the top as possible. So one tip is uh, we always try to work as efficient as possible and while that Bondo glaze and putty is drying on the top, it's, I waited to uh, do sand, scuff sand the sides and the drawer fronts because I knew that that was going to take a little bit to dry. So that's what I'm doing here and you know we didn't have to do as much sanding on it because it was in a lot better shape but there's still some areas with some dings and things on it that we needed to take all the way down as you can see right here. Thank you. 
When we're getting our drawers ready to be sprayed, one of the things that we really like is this 3M pre-taped plastic. It's basically just what it says. It's plastic that has already got tape on it and easy to drape over your drawer. And now that the, the Bondo has dried on the top, we are using our Surf Prep Sander here with 180 grit to smooth all this out. You don't want to go too aggressive in any much lower than 180 grit here or you're just going to remove everything that you put on there off. But the 180 is a good happy medium here to get it nice and smooth without just pulling all of it up. Even though this piece had already been painted and the paint that was on there was actually had pretty good adhesion, we wanted to go ahead and prime it again anyways. And this is a light gray primer and I picked light gray because that's really close to the color that we're going to be using on the piece. If you have ever worked with mahogany before and you're going to paint it a light color then you know there is a very serious risk of a pink reddish bleed through coming through and what I am doing here is spraying a oil based cover stain primer on this to hopefully block any of the mahogany tannins coming through to keep that pink red color out of our paint color. After getting the primer on this piece, there still were a couple little spots that I wasn't happy with as far as dings and stuff goes, so I just added some more of that uh, Bondo filler to it to kind of get it ready for a paint, and that's what you see here. And the color on this paint is a Benjamin Moore color called Smoked Embers. If you're liking the step-by-step -step tutorial on refinishing furniture, we have a video out of how we refinished and painted a orange set that is so common. If you would like to see it, I'll put a link in the description below. Now we are getting the final stages of this piece painted and getting it all put back together and before we go and show any clips or pictures of the finished product let's just take a step back in time and remember what this piece looked like when we got started oh my goodness what an absolute disaster
since this piece is going to go in our customer's nursery, Jennifer thought it would be a great idea to go ahead and stage it like it is in a little boy's room. I think we saved this piece from the dump. Let us know what you think in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Please stay tuned for more furniture flipping DIY.